Happy Friday. It's time to wind Happy down, Tony. Friday. Happy Friday. Happy time Friday. to wind down. Cheers. For the last time this season. Cheers, Bob. I see Bob in the green room. Cheers. This is our this is a very special episode. It's our last show of the season. And then of course, I kind of threw a little wrench in our game by <laughs> by coming to Napa Valley. And so I'm in California. The time zone changed and it threw off. Be live wouldn't let us go live because it was saying no it's not it's not noon where you set this up so if you are watching the good news is anybody who goes to our page and is watching um they'll see us we'll be right there we're in the same place just shifted a different post um so if and i'll put this if you are watching and you are waiting to come into the green room area ellen is one hello and it was written, yeah, it said uh, it said 1,500 hours because yes. I scheduled it and then I came to, uh, to California and it somehow, I don't know how to shift that because it's supposed to be using my Facebook um, time. But, but welcome to Wind Down. And this episode, we're going to kind of look back over the season to talk about our kind of our favorite either memories of the show or things that we've implemented, ideas that maybe inspired something different in our business. And we have fun special guests popping in to share their thoughts, inspirations, or actions they've taken. Absolutely. And if anybody is watching and wants to pop in, uh, we have yes. several people lined up. But if you want to pop in, Gina, you've put the link in the show notes or are going I'm to go I'm putting it in the live comments area so that you can area. So join us. If you want to uh, join us. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to join us, just uh, put something in the comments that you'd yes. like to, to come on. And if we have time, we will definitely let you know. We'll bring you into the green room, let you hang out there for a few minutes. Although Gina will bring you into the green room, and uh, and then we'd love to hear your comments. So so Gina, in preparation for this call, there was some cool stuff. So I I do have a couple of people that sent me their comments because they couldn't be live today. So I want to share those eventually. But I did go back through the episodes. It was the first time I've gone back through all the episodes, and I I actually noticed. Well, I realized three really important things. Yes, I'm curious to know what those are. Yes. So number one, I realized that I absolutely love doing this show. I absolutely love doing this show. I love getting to see you every week. I love getting to see our regulars every week and, and, and the comments. So I am going to miss this over the summer. Although you and I talked about the fact that we might, we might try to do an impromptu one when you're here this summer. So that was number one. I love doing this show. And I love you. And so thank you for, for being mm. part of this and letting me be part of this. And, 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 so fun. and it's great. I love it. Second thing I and noticed. It spawned, I have to add on because this idea was spawned when we went to the art retreat. Absolutely. And you have never done a, a Facebook Live. So I have to commend you for not only... Again, an idea can be born, and when we talk about innovative things in our business, but if we don't take action on them, ideas Absolutely. come and go. So we yes. took action, we made the commitment, we thought, well, let's see what happens, and see if it's of yep. value to people, so I'm excited that we took action on that. And now I'm a, well, I was gonna say I'm a pro. I don't know that I'm a pro, but now, but now it doesn't freak me out at all, and I can even host and all of that stuff. Second thing, <laughs> I is we, we, the collective we, not just you and, and, and me, but everybody who's been part of the show, we have said some and talked about some really cool shit. Like, like there have been some great shows. I know I'm not supposed to say, but there have been some great shows. We've had some awesome conversations, and that's been awesome. And I, I love that. I love that. And I was just so proud of all of us as, as I looked back. And the third yeah. thing that I realized, which is probably the most important of the three, is that you have really great hair. <laughs> that, was, that, was, 
my third realization. <laughs> that in and every week I'm saying, I need to learn to wear wigs. I need to just uh, cut my hair off and wear no, wigs. Because it's awesome. No matter whether it's up or down or to the side or no matter where you are or whether you haven't slept no. for a six hours, yeah. your hair yeah. got all three day, no. three day hair and lots of dry shampoo, girlfriend. That is what it is. Let's just be honest. Okay. Well, um, I have never heard of that. So I'll have to go check that out. And uh, oh, yeah. I learned about dry shampoo, the necessity on Kilimanjaro when you have no showers for a week and you have to use dry shampoo just so that your hair doesn't look like it was painted wow. um, on your head. Yeah. Okay. So well, those were yeah. my three important realizations. Now I know that you looked back through the episodes and you came up with some favorite favorite moments. And what would those be? I did. Well, it's interesting because you know every one of them was so interesting because to be honest, a lot of them we had an idea or an article we found, but then you and I would just come at them from different angles. I tend Absolutely. to look at things from the marketing angle. You're looking at it from a business innovation angle. And um, I love the fact that what came out of each episode was so different than what we first thought we would go into <laughs> the episode talking about. So I love that. And, um, you know, a couple of them, like episode two was wine, gin, and deodorant. And, you know, again, how we blended those three topics. But we talked about innovative ways. Um, we had the wine bottle, the talking wine bottle uh, with 19 crimes. 19 crimes, yeah. yeah. 19 crimes we had the gin ad that yeah. um or the bottle that changed colors when it was cold enough and then right. um the deodorant company that had really unique marketing in their emails that they sent out and then right. the other day i posted in our diy group about a company called uber conferencing uber like the cars but it's not connected uber conferencing and they had really cool hold music i was on hold in a conference and I wanted it to last because it was so yes. amazingly oh, funny. Wow. It was actually like when people joined the conference and the music stopped, I was like, wait, 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 everybody hang up. I want to finish hearing that hold music because it was funny. They created a funny song. So, you know, we talked about that. And then episode six, we talked about creating intimacy, which Lisa and Brian, I saw them in the green room here with Jim and Bob. The green room is getting crowded. We should have brought um, some wine and cheese in the green room for yes. everybody. Um, but um, Lisa and, and Brian inspired me because they create this amazing intimacy with their Facebook audience doing something unique and I'm not going to give it away because we talked about it back in that episode but she's they're here and we'll see um, we'll have them chat about that now, but those are some of mine how about you I do know that Jim when he messaged me a few minutes ago I think if I understood correctly only has 15 minutes so oh, I so wonder we if we don't want to bring in. him in yeah. And, yeah. and one of the things that I think is so amazing about Jim is that is that he tunes in from all of these places Crazy all over places. the world. Yeah. And it looks like he's at the top of the world right now. I see him. His hair is blown in the wind and I don't even know where he is. Well, um, let's let's see. Jim Coffee is coming in right right now. And right now. Um, right now. Hey. Jim, how are you? Hey. Where hey. are you in the world? This is like this is like um, Dora the Explorer or uh, where in the world is, well, I guess we don't want to say yeah. Matt Lauer. Um, uh, <laughs> so it, That's not good. Where are you, Jim? Well, I'm currently um, in Terra Nova National Park in Newfoundland. Wow. On the, uh, on the only two sunny days that they've had in June. So I believe that I brought the fine weather. Uh, oh, I think we did too. We did. Uh, the, the black flies. The black so, flies. Yeah, so that's the downside of the nice weather in Newfoundland. If but, flies come out. But I'm here teaching a water rescue course, and uh, I just so happen to be able to time my day to have this half hour break so I could tune in. Great. And that's so, what awesome. are some of your fondest memories, Jim, or, or some messages that you took away or implemented? Anything. Well, you know, it's um, there's a wide variety of things, but what really strikes me the the most, which I thought was so interesting, was that because the you know a program like this on Facebook Live happens wherever people happen to be anywhere in the world, that I'm pretty sure that this is like my fifth country that I've tuned in from. So yeah. I I remember I was at the uh, the border of. Um, 
Honduras and El Salvador with a uh, a slight breakdown of my vehicle. Uh. Mo McKenzie his thing. I was able to tune in. Uh, one- <laughs> so, um, and I always think that you know you never know when you uh, you know before tuning in to the to the show. I don't really know what I'm going to get out of it, but it's this combination of between the two of you looking at things at different angles, comments that end up that coming through, and it can move off in a completely different direction from what from what was originally sort of in a title. So, right. Um, right. so you go, so you never know what's what you're going to pull out that's going to be valuable, but you certainly don't pull out anything valuable if you can't make it. Absolutely. So, that's my perspective. Well, that's great. That's so and I, awesome. I, I think it's true. In fact, Gina was mentioning that, that, you know, we set out with a plan. And <laughs> wait, wait. You're, you're assuming we had a plan. It does but... actually follow the plan. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Which is one of the things that's so important in everything that we talk about is even when you set out with an idea, it's seeing what comes up and and just kind of going with the flow, which is what we do. And you have made some great comments uh, over the various shows, Jim. And we're always we're always thrilled to have you with us. You bring you bring a, because of what you do and because of how much you travel. Uh, I think you bring a I know you bring a really interesting perspective. And I knew that before the show. But we're always happy to have you on and hear your perspective on things because it's always okay. And here's what I think, I hope that everyone is inspired by what you just said, is you don't have to have a solid plan before you go live on Facebook. Right. You want to be there to connect. And this is what, you know, Lisa and Brian, um, they do so well. It's like the, the goal is to be on these shows and connect with your audience and have conversations. Conversations are not scripted and planned. You right. meet with friends, you meet with people, and you have an idea of something you'd like to bring forth. But that may completely change based on the conversation. And I think in our businesses, sometimes people shy away from live video because they're afraid they don't have a plan. They don't have it scripted out. And I think that's, Jim, that's a, nice to hear that it was kind of refreshing to you, you. You don't know exactly what you'll get out, but being there allows you to participate and take something, take something away. You know, and the other thing I just like to add in, um, you know, from the for the two of you is that you know, I've, um, you know, been sort of connected to Tony for the last couple of years and, um, and to then be able to sort of expand to be a participant rather than just a, um, you know, uh, having information coming one way, having that go both right. ways is, um, is something that, that I believe that you've both built which I hope turns out to be beneficial for everybody, but it really does feel cool. like, um, you know, like it's an important thing to be a part of it because you're, uh, you know, a valued portion of that community. Well, we're honored to have you. Awesome. Honored to have you. Honored Thanks. to have you from the Netherlands. Thank yes. you so much. We love you. Have have fun and be safe. Be safe. Okay, we hope that you. the, your water I, rescue I, is just a class only. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk to you later on. See you later. Bye. 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 Okay. He's such a cool Let's guy. See. He does such cool things. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. We have Lisa and Bob waiting in the green room. Bob, are you ready to pop in? I'm I'm clicking you in here. Bob is here. Hey Bob. Hi, how are you? Right. Oh, good you sound you. the sound is good. Okay. Well you said yeah. to use one of these, so I did. <laughs> You're very obedient. You're very I obedient. Me. I like that. <laughs> well, Bob, you've been the, a loyal fan and and participant. You always participate, which I love that about you, Bob, is you're always participating in the conversations. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'd love to hear kind of your takeaways and your nuggets of um, what you've implemented or been inspired to do different in your business. Well, I like what Jim said about not knowing what you're going to get. I just put it in the calendar. And, and I show up and I expect a half an hour of uh, something very, very useful and fun. And uh, for me, it's been uh, excellent. I've got some couple of points to make, but I had to look at the five S's and I could only remember four of them. So that's all I wrote down. <laughs> and I came up with uh, three C's. <laughs> One is community. 
and that's what this is. This is this group yeah. is a community. Absolutely. And one for me and my main points are about confidence, uh, overcoming fear. And by being in that community, the confidence is built. So I've got a couple wow. of things to report. That's and awesome. then the last one is the collegial and the fun. And it's funny that Tony's last point was about your hair because it's a fun <laughs> point. And when you have fun, you release endorphins yeah. that allow people to learn. Right. right. And that's, that's what my experience here is you people open me up so that I'm able to then receive the information. Like I'm kind of nerdy, so I got two screens running, and one of them has notes that I'm making. The other one is watching YouTube, so I'm busy I typing notes all the time. I know you would. No, and, that's great, and, Bob. I have an important question, yeah. which is which of the four S's did you remember, so I can tell you which one is missing. Uh, well, so I could do them without even looking at my notes. Surprising, sustainable, and. Uh, and seductive are the ones I always remember. And okay. then I saw it a little more and I remembered strategic. Yes. And the fifth one is simple. Oh, well, I would it's... never have that because <laughs> I, I do everything the hard way. So I've got to remember maybe, that. I've got to remember that. That's that. Maybe that's the one that's hardest to remember for yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. It is. Well, I love, I love what you said about confidence and community and the link between the two, Bob. And I, I think that's so true. And as Gina was saying earlier, she gave me the confidence to do this because I never would have thought of doing this without you know, having a page and a half of notes and having everything planned. <laughs> but it's even and the reality is, I didn't give you confidence, Tony. I just made you do it. Well, that's true. <laughs> and, and by doing it. But it's like, it's like Bob said, I think there is and, and I, I wrote it down because I think it's so powerful, Bob, is, is one of the important ben benefits of community is confidence, that everybody in that community gains confidence. We may not gain confidence about the same things, but we gain confidence because we have this community of people supporting us. I think that's an awesome point. Well, let me, let me tell you what happened. In the middle of all this, I had an opportunity, Tony will know this, I think, uh, to do a Mo Monday. Yes. You know what that is. Okay. Gina, you know, that's a national franchise in Canada. And in, in various cities, we have the ability to go on stage and tell our story. Oh, and right. There's people right from the community. Like it's not speaker speakers like Tony's a speaker speaker, right? She's on the road she's speaking. A speaker she's, speaker. Right. She's a, a hall of fame. Like she's top of her game. Okay. In the speaking right. community, we, we understand that and we honor it. Mo Mondays is just about people telling their story, and it's very compelling because it's uh, local, it's social, and it, it speaks to that thing about uh, the collegial part, you know, like people really get into it. So it's very right. powerful. I have volunteered at Mo Mondays for two years uh, when Stephanie Staples owned it in Winnipeg, and uh, she bugged me for two years to go on stage. I wouldn't do it because my product wasn't ready, and, and you're not supposed to do product, but that was my reason. And the reason became an excuse, and Stephanie okay. sold it, moved to uh, Sydney, BC, which is in British Columbia, Victoria area. And the new, it's a couple, and he and I had lunch, and we went for a lunch, a normal lunch. And he didn't bring it up. I did. Because in the absence of him bringing it up, I said, oh, by the way, Stephanie's been bugging me. And, and so he just listened. And he, yeah. I didn't go through the excuses, but I realized the silence was very compelling. And then he said, so when do you want to speak? So because of the experience here, I committed and I did it. Awesome. That, has caused, that has caused a breakthrough. And I've said in my comments about product development, that has caused a breakthrough where the product is now in the field. Awesome. That's awesome. That's so exciting. Okay. And, yeah, and I've only got you it. just need that push. I've got it in front of I mean, two coaching clients who are now going to work with it in the next month, right? They don't know it's in development. They just think it's, that's what I do. And that's the way I want it presented. And then, of course, we'll I'll give Bob hearts. Right. Give Bob lots of hearts and, and clappy hands over here because yeah. I'm, I'm very proud of you for taking that leap and pushing yourself and... You know, and not letting fear get in the way of, of not taking the action that you need to take in your business. That's great. 
Yeah. Absolutely. I, That's really I am exciting. still listening. I'm just trying to get through to Susan Luke, who thinks we're on at three. So. <laughs> Send her to Gina. <laughs> thank you for coming, Bob. We love Bob. you. And we awesome. thank, thank you, you Bob. Summer. So good. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay. I'm bringing Lisa. Lisa, girlfriend, diva. Are you ready? Okay. And I have to say, as Lisa's coming in here, I met Lisa and Brian. Lisa and Brian are both. Let's see if we can see you guys. Um, I met Lisa and Brian strictly by happenstance because I happened to be looking at Facebook lives who was going live and putting on awesome shows. And one morning it was crack of dawn. Um, <laughs> Lisa, you guys are on so early. So for me, I'm like, Oh my God, six o'clock they're in, they're already live somewhere. And I, I tuned in and Lisa was in her bathroom getting ready. She's singing and she's, but she's live on Facebook. I was like, what is this? So I'm watching and all of a sudden I'm just drawn in. And she is just charismatic and just, I loved, I immediately just loved her. And then she says, okay, we're going live on our other show. And, and, you know, and they go live, her and Brian come on and they're just dynamic. And so Lisa, that's why I love what you guys do to build that intimacy in your community online. Um, and it may, there may be other things you want to share, but I, I use you guys as the example. I always tell people about your show going, this couple draws you in. And makes you feel like I, every time I tune in, and usually I'm gardening, usually I'm watering my flowers at 6 in the morning, and I'm outside with coffee, in my pajamas, with a hose, watering my flowers, and I'm listening to Lisa and Brian. And <laughs> I'm usually, I don't even have a spare hand because I'm holding my coffee and my water. And then they're going, hey, Gina, where are you? Are you in Arizona? I'm like, oh, shoot, I got to put something down so I can text them. Because <laughs> I feel the need. I'm like, they see you, and they make you feel part of that community i just love it so yes. welcome lisa and brian thank you for having us <laughs> welcome hello to both of you ladies gina yeah. you're so perceptive um a couple of quick tips i want to say because i want lisa to talk i don't participate in the morning makeup and motivation part <laughs> yeah Why you not? do not no <laughs> she's doing makeup anyway so she decided to share that with her but i wanted to talk about her motivations behind that but one of the things, because of the topic, creating intimacy and, and persistency with your audiences, every single person that chimes in at all is important. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we make sure that everyone whose name we see, we want to say hello to that person. Absolutely. And anyone who has anything that, that takes the time to write it out, unless it's something crazy, if they write it out, we're going to read it out loud. Yeah. Absolutely. Everyone. Yeah. Absolutely. You, you guys, but you guys are just hilarious because <laughs> I love, like, I am always trying, again, I'm trying to put down a cup of coffee or a hose to just type in going amen or funny, laughing, like, you guys make me laugh every morning, and I just love it. It's like, it's, yeah. again, it's kind of my drive time because my drive time is from the kitchen to the garden <laughs> mm -hmm. in my pajamas, and I'm listening to you guys, and I love it. It does build that intimacy. I feel like, oh, I'm missing them. Mm -hmm. Um so I just I think you guys you guys just do an amazing job of that. Yeah, calling out people, um, making people feel just loved. Absolutely, we thank you for that. And we do miss our audience when they don't come. We try to keep track of where people are. We actually oftentimes when we're not online, we're actually checking our viewers' pages to see how they're doing, see what they're doing. We pray for you guys. We pray for them. Like we sometimes people post what's going on in their lives and we'll call them out in our own personal prayers yep. as well. So we are like it is community. It is community. It is. And we found that there are so many people that this is the only intimacy or social yes. at, at foray that they actually have. And right. uh, while we do offline networking and hold events offline, there are some people that don't need, we had one lady that was that came to one of our offline events that hadn't been out of her house for seven years. Yes. Wow. Wow. Came, yes. And she came as a result of the intimacy that we built with her over time online. Because they feel like they get to know you. Wow. Yeah. They see you they that do. often. They get to know you. That story shook me. She had left her home in seven years. Seven years. years. And she wow. Paid for yeah. Okay. Well, I also think it's so interesting because you, what you said, you said, you know, when you don't see people, you miss them. Well, I'll have to tell you, as a viewer in your audience, 
I feel that. Like if I know, I see on my phone, I'm like I was traveling here and it, I was just getting out of bed and I see a thing pop up going, Lisa and Brian are live. And I'm like, I feel guilty. So you, <laughs> I, I, I like, I, it's like, yeah, like I'm missing church. And, <laughs> and I think what's interesting We're about that when you. The motherboard <laughs> after you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, such an, um, it's such an honor. There's been two times since October of 2016 where we didn't do our show at all. Mm -hmm. Only twice wow. between wow. October 2016, Monday through Friday, where we didn't do our show at all. And when we didn't That's do it. our show, like yeah. 15 minutes after, we got busted. We're getting messages <laughs> to individually. Where's the show? Where's the show? Where are you? Because they come to, it's something that they can hang their hat on. This show's going right. to be there this time, and they know what they're going to get. No, consistency about morning motivation and makeup. Right. And I know a lot of people laugh and talk about like, what was the impetus behind that? Um, yeah. Well, first of all, it was a matter of giving permission to imperfection. Yes. That, that's mm, what, what great. it was. I was hearing too many ladies saying to me, oh my God, I can never do that. Not talking about the morning show, talking about our regular show. You guys are right. always so put together, your message and this. Da, da, da. We have a topic and a time and everything else <laughs> is left up to God. That's right. <laughs> a topic and a time. And that's it. Sometimes we don't even have pants on. So it's a topic you don't and a theme. Her that, baby. Her that. I'm seeing a theme so far on the show. No pants required. <laughs> Jerry, you better get on here. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was getting those messages from women that I knew, because I believe that everybody has a purpose and everybody has something to add, I knew that they were keeping us, us being the world, from something that we needed because they thought it wasn't packaged up pretty enough. To yes, right. the world. So yeah. I said, okay, here we go, 50 year old morning face. You're <laughs> getting ready to say hello to the world. And they watch the transformation. They watch the transformation. She's going to be make up anyway. Right. But now well, and I'll tell you about Lisa. I'm also getting makeup tips because I'm like, oh, she's using some That's highlighter on her say. eyebrows. They're I can that. How is she going to get that eyelash on? <laughs> well, that. That was the big joke when, when Gina and I were at the art retreat was not only was there no way I was doing a Facebook Live, no way without preparation. There was no way I was doing a Facebook Live without makeup. And by the end of the three days, she had me in my pajamas, no makeup, no prep, no nothing, with a glass of wine in my hand, but that wasn't that wasn't a stretch. The rest was a stretch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you hit on you know, just, too. just you hit talking, on and it's so Here, freeing. Here's the, that's yeah. the other thing too. As willing as you are as hosts to be transparent, that equals their transparency. Yes. That's, that's willing right. as you are to laugh. If you're not willing to laugh, they can't laugh. It's yes. like you give permission. That is so true. If you're willing to yeah. be transparent. They can be trans. If Lisa and I fuss at each other online, which has happened once or twice, I, I love that part. <laughs> <laughs> I like that phrase, fuss at each other. Yes. <laughs> they fuss but at that's each other. I love real as husband and wife. Yeah. And it's happened a couple of times, you know, a few yeah. times, maybe yeah. 10 times, maybe and 20, sometimes maybe 30 times. Serious. Sometimes there have been like really serious uh, moments. Oh, but we worked it out, moments. though. Every time we work it out. You know, so. But I think you're right. It allows participants to see their perfection isn't necessary to allow your audience in. And as a matter of fact, it actually helps your audience draw closer through that imperfection. I think you're yes. right. Absolutely right. <laughs> your, one yeah. of your viewers, Susan, says, I just got on here and I heard about pants on or off. Am I in the right place? <laughs> <laughs> You're in the right place, Susan. Susan, you are definitely in the right place. No pants required. That is the name of this episode. No pants required. No pants required. Wine, maybe required. That's true. Yeah. Wine, 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 I always laugh because I actually did a show, a guy in a studio, it was a TV show, and he had on a suit jacket, but he had on like Bermuda shorts, like these surfer shorts on the bottom. I was like, even on TV, no pants are required. That's right. Uh, you know what would be a really fun thing to do? 
is to make everybody on one wind down guess what we have on. <laughs> and then it's like to tell then it's like to tell the truth. Will the real person with no pants? And then everybody has to go like this. <laughs> we need to do it. Yeah, absolutely, we need to do it. We need to do Who it. has no Often pants on? Not, he's not wearing pants, though. Have to, have I have pants. Okay. I have pants on. You got pants on today. I'm not, I'm not standing up. <laughs> Tony's not telling. I'm Bob, I don't know. Sure. Bob, I think he's the one. Bob has no pants on. He's still in the green room. And I think he doesn't have pants on. <laughs> okay, well, guys, I have actually Hello. never had the honor of, of hearing your show. So um, I am going to, wait, 6 o'clock in the morning? Is well, it's 9 o'clock. No, no, no. Yeah, Tony, they're on the same time zone as you. They're East Coast. Oh, so it's 9 yeah. o'clock. Yes, Oh, I can do that. Yes, you can. I, do yeah. that. I don't know if I'll have yeah. pants on, but I, I can do that. <laughs> Nine a.m. Nine a.m. Eastern Coast. Yeah, I am going to come visit, so watch out for me. I'm going to yeah, go. Lisa, just it's on Lisa's pay. It's all, I catch it every morning. I, you you know it, that's the beauty. And if anybody doesn't know this, if you sign up for notifications and you subscribe to notifications, um. You just in the morning you kind of see who's going live and you're like, oh, it's kind of like your morning drive time. It's like I need Absolutely. to pop over there and catch the show. I love that. Um, and I, I'm just you guys have been a blessing in my life and I know to many other people. So thank you for what you guys thank do. You. And Tony, um, come on, say something, say anything, so we'll shout you out. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to tell her to talk. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> her. I, I will talk. Awesome. Thank you. I'm a Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I just love them. I'm like, yeah. okay, best. Like, you know how that's what I love. And Bob, I love Bob. It's like I meet these people online. So if yeah. anybody ever says you can't build relationships through social media or through online, um, they don't know. They're not doing it right. Yes, they're not doing absolutely. it right. And I think that's another lesson in our business. I think video allows us to get closer to people, to get to know them. I think um, doing these video shows, I've gotten to know people through their comments. And, so, you know, again, even their comments. I mean, Susan, you crack, you're cracking us up. Um, you know, you get to know people. <laughs> Susan says, just saying. <laughs> um you know, it's like that allows people in and you draw closer. And so as a business, and, and again, we're we're doing this, this show super casual, but is there a way in any business that you can allow people to draw closer and, and kind of see, peek behind the curtain of seriousness? Yeah. Not that you have to be silly, but I think, again, be vulnerable. You don't have to be perfect. And I think letting people see the imperfection draws them closer. To well, you, um, sorry. No, that that was. I, I think yeah. what, what Jim said um, earlier about the fact that this this kind of community can help sustain relationships, sustain connections. And Jim talked about the the back and forth and what he loves about this. And he specifically said, you know, there's a difference between information getting pushed to us. And being able to connect and interact not only with that information, but with the person who's providing that information. Right. And that's what's so cool about this, because most people think of social, and you obviously, being the people who handle social for my life, uh, taught me this. And most people think of social as a one-way push. I'm going, right. to, I'm going to push information out there so that right. people will see it, read it, like it. Well, that's great. But I want people to interact with it. I want people to engage with it. I want to start a conversation. And I think that's one of the powers of video and shows like this is that you start conversations. That's right. That's right. And that's how relationships are started. Absolutely. So I think the conversation, start conversations, that leads to relationships, that leads to working together. Yes. Um, yeah. Or and not. I want to say, or not, or, or yeah. just because, say, yeah, develop, well, you never know. You might have a partnership with them doing something else. I want to um, let Ellen know she was trying, she had tried to come in. She was in the green room. She said she had echo. So she popped out. And if you put an earbud in, so it could be that the sound is coming from your speaker and then it feeds back into the yes. microphone. So it causes echo. Right. Um, 
if you put a headset in, usually that eliminates it, but you never know. And shout out to Vivian. I just have to um, see, I can't move this up to see the comments, which sometimes comments are just easy and sometimes they're not. Um, who's, who's, so, who's coming in next? Um, well, Ellen was, but she had to pop out because of Echo. So, so I don't see Susan. Susan Wine, I have. Susan, we're, we're ready for you. Um, if you want to come in, click on the link that is in this chat stream here. And if you need me to put that link back in. Did I, did I put it in here? Yeah, I did. Maybe, um, is, it, is it in those same comments that, that Susan is using, the link? It should be, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in the click same that comment link. area. It's early on in the show, which is hard. I know when you're watching Facebook Live, it shows the comments in live. Um, let me just put it again. How about that? Right there. If you want to join live, if you want to pop in, um, pop in. So Susan apparently has wine and no pants. Yes. Susan this has is, wine and no pants. This, this is the show for you, Susan. We're ready for you. Just click on that link, and it takes you – you're, you won't be in Facebook. You will be in um, the green room, which pulls you into Be Live. So it, it's a different tool that we use for this, and it'll pull you in here. Um, yes. But I think hopefully this season has been not only fun, but hopefully it's also been um, helpful and inspiring you. And Elaine yes. is here. Oh, Elaine was here, and now she's gone again. Um, okay, she might be having technical difficulty coming okay. in. Okay. But which is another thing that I'm hoping that even today will allow is people who are afraid to try because of technology glitches or um, Tony, you're so I have to say you're you've been really good because there are days where we're going live in like 30 seconds and I'm not here. And Tony, I can, and what's funny is a couple of times I am here, but for some reason she can't see me. I can see her and I can see the panic on her face like, OK, where is she? Where is she? I'm like, I'm here. I'm here. Um, yeah. So, you know, technology is not perfect. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And you have to learn how Absolutely. to not let that get you down. And then there was the day you weren't there. there was, and that was one of the episodes I went back and watched. And the first <laughs> 10 minutes of that episode is painful. I am obviously out of my depth. No idea what to talk about on my <laughs> own. I and I was that just a personal growth day for you. <laughs> but, but I did it. A, not yeah, pretty good, but I did it. And I could do well, that. I think that's another thing is like we need to not be afraid to try new things and Absolutely. to say, okay, if things go wrong, what do you do? And I always just say, you, that's when you just wing it. Yeah. And you laugh at yourself and you, your audience will laugh with you. And, yeah. um, and you need time to practice, which shows like this allow you to practice. Is come on and practice, and and learn that it's not so scary to turn your camera on. You know, I, there's uh, Brian Fanzo is uh, on social media. You see him a lot. I think it's I Fanzo is his handle. Yeah. But his, his motto is just push the button, and he's always trying to encourage people to go live and do more live video in their businesses. And he says, just push, push the button. Too many people are afraid to go live because what if I say something stupid or what if it disconnects or like yeah. I've done before. I've been doing live and my, my cord wasn't plugged into my computer. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, 30 seconds, my battery's going to die. And so in the middle of the show, I have to go fish out my cord and plug it in and put it in my computer. But you know what? That's that's what happens. And you, I, I you go will, with I it. I will put a caveat. And I, I know, Brian, and in fact, Monday – I'm doing a video on video, which is an interesting thing. Um, I'm going to do a video on video as a touch point. And I, I will tell this group right now, I am going to say it's not necessarily always okay to just press the button. Uh, I, I think it depends who you are. I think it depends. But seriously, I think it depends who you are. I think it depends what your brand stands for. I think it depends it on the other. Because I'm seeing way too much stuff out there. It should not that be. That shouldn't be live. Well, that's true. It shouldn't be live. It, well, and I do, I do have to say some tips. I despise people who push that live button on Facebook, and then they say, 
So, hey, just waiting for people to yeah. tune in. And, yeah. so, hey, let's just look at me sitting here in my bed. Um, yeah. <laughs> going, okay, there's, how there's, all kinds of, there's all kinds of things. But, yes, the first step is to get over yeah. that, the fear. Now, the fear. Um, I, I, I think Susan and mm -hmm. both Susan and Helen are having issues getting in nudies. What? But both Susan and Ellen are having trouble getting in. I, I don't know if um, uh, uh, Susan and Ellen, are you both in Chrome? That, oh, that you know what? That is true. true. If you don't, if yeah, you are not in Chrome, Chrome browser, if you're not in the yeah. Chrome browser, that could be a problem. So if either of you are in another browser beside Chrome, that could be the issue. True. Uh, That's but probably the issue. Vivian, why are we talking about nudies? I. I <laughs> Because I think Susan's comment, I'm enjoying the converse. Oh no, with wine, and we're wow. talking about pants and everything else. Um, so Susan, you are in Chrome, is that it? That oh, yes, Susan you are in Chrome. So uh, if you've clicked on the latest link that Gina put in, I I really don't know why. Why it wouldn't? Yeah, either um, the fact that you were in, you weren't pixelated. You the Wi-Fi connection or your internet connection looks good. Um, that was the right link. It should pull you in, although it pulls you into a green room, kind of a holding area until I move you up. So, but you still should know that you're in. The problem with me is sound. My ear, my earbud is broken. I couldn't use it on the computer. Okay. Um, well, and you can share anything in the chat. And Tony, you had some people who wrote in yes. some things that you wanted to share as well. Absolutely. Jim, Jim was one of them who actually ended up being able to up here live, so that's really cool. Another one was was uh, Maggie Schoen from the, our Facebook group, who's also uh, very well known in the speaking community. And I loved what she said, and I was just trying to find it, so give me two seconds. But she sure. talked about the fact that, here we go, uh, she talked about the fact that she always walks away with something. Let me Let me read it to you. I really enjoy the banter and the spontaneous aha moments as you two sprint, which we always do, <laughs> sprint for a half hour and a glass of wine. Always something to pique my, pique my curiosity. So after the show, and I, I love this, after the show I explore an idea or two to think about on the weekend, and she finishes by saying, hanging out with other twisted folks is good for the soul. So. <laughs> I love out with an actress and folks. I love her. Yeah, that's awesome. So, that's Susan and Elaine. Feel free to to share your thoughts in the comments. That may that may be as 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 good as we can do today. So if you have some thoughts, some memories, some ideas that you'd like to share of the show, feel free to share those in the comments. And you know, and I'm going to share something just this week that, um, I, for those of you who don't know, I'm here in Napa Valley meeting my sister for the very first time. I'm, I'll be 55, and her and I had never met. We connected through DNA testing on um, Ancestry.com. I, I never knew who my dad was, so we kind of found each other. We've just been having a fun time the last few days. But it was interesting because something that we kept, we've been saying, kind of the theme is you have to just take action. And one thing that we did this week that was really fun is that she had never, she's lived in Napa all her life and had never been in a hot air balloon. And so we were talking about it and I just took my phone and I, Tony, you know me, I would just, I just looked up, okay, the hot air balloon company. And I was like, oh, they have openings tomorrow morning. We could get up at four and, and go. And we, we booked it and went. And, um, and I think, and Tony, that, I, that is one episode I think is worth, or actually it's an episode we talked about and also one of your videos to commit or to audition yes. and you and I have talked about how opposite we are I jump in and commit before even thinking twice um, and you audition things to make sure that things are just right before implementing and we've been good for each other because absolutely I, I you know I know that it, at least I think about it as I'm jumping now um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think yet before I jump so I still need to work on that but um, you know I think in our business whether it's doing something innovative and new in our business or whether it's um, getting out there and marketing our business idea to start, we can plan and plan and plan all day long. But until we finally just get out there and take some action 
And then every day, you know, and I like having accountability of having, having other people hold me to things so that, you know, we have to find that community of people that will hold us accountable because a lot of times if we are solopreneurs, we can come up with a very innovative idea, a brilliant way to do business. But if we don't actually do it, you know, who's going to get on our case? Absolutely. You know, I think that's another important thing that this community um, in both of our Facebook groups separately, but then in this community on Wind Down is, you know, allow us all to be your accountability buddies. If you know what, I came up with a great idea. I want to set a a date to get this done and commit to it and make it happen. And I think you'll see amazing things happen in your business. I think that would be a great episode, actually. Maybe our launch episode in the fall, we could ask everybody to come with something they're going to do and a date and the group can hold them accountable. Each other accountable. That'd be a lot of fun. Now, Susan because said- then, yeah, I love it. Sorry, go ahead, Gina. No, I just said that's a great idea because then we could say, okay, if you said you were gonna do this by October, okay, in October, we're gonna have you come on the show and share with us what you did because then that's added accountability. Of now I have to come on live and tell everybody and then suddenly you'll get sick and you won't come on and- yeah. um, <laughs> so, Susan says, I don't know if you can bring the comment up, Gina. Susan says, love the session about transition stories and legacy. Definitely what I'm experiencing now. That was one of my favorite sessions, Susan, as well. Still looking for some more creative ways of dealing with those issues, but enjoying the ride in terms of trying not to force anything. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's a great. Yeah. I, I so need to go back and watch. In transition right now, I think, about so many things. Right, right. Um, and that is, it's interesting that we've all kind of felt that as there's this transition time. And I think it's that, that stirring that we have in us to do something bigger. And we yes. need to take that seriously and actually put some action, put some legs in it and say, okay, you know, we can't, we can't get great until we get started. So what yeah, will you do to get started? Yes. Yeah. And, and I, I also think that there's something about consciously always being in transition. I think that's important because what I realized, and we talked about a little bit in that show, was that I had, I didn't think I was in transition anymore. I had found this, this was my life, this was my future. And and so I was on a path and I was on a track. But as soon as I stopped and let myself let go of some of that, I realized that I was in fact, and always need to be in some kind of transition. And that doesn't mean uh, indecisiveness or not committing or any of those things. Yeah. It just it means mean big we're not in some kind of transition. We're not growing. That's a good point. Yeah, we're all in transition and our business should be evolving and continuing to grow. And it could be a completely different shift, but it could just be slight little variations yeah. that we make. Um, Alain says the fact that you are, oh, that you two are inspiring. Thank you. The shows are also good to look back, to get back to the major messages. Surround yourself with people brighter than you, always, um, that push you. Yeah, go for the long game. Nurture our inner genius. That was one of my favorite episodes, too, because that was very spontaneous. And I think I came live from the hospital um, that episode. And we just talked about being, you know, that genius inside. Absolutely. And always... Um, always something to go away with. Thank yeah. you. That That is a really nice um, sentiment. Yeah. That's and lovely. I think that is, is surround yourself with smart people, you know, always, you know, which we all, we always hear that, you know, if you hang around with people who are like you, you don't grow very much. And if you hang around people who I always call basement people, basement people in our lives want to hold us down in the basement with them. That's we need good. to surround ourselves with balcony people who are in the balcony cheering us on and pushing us. And it's I've always believed that you've got it, you know, and, and again, sometimes we live with people who might be basement people, you know, and we have to look at that and say, okay, how am I going to intentionally surround myself with balcony people who will cheer me on and push me to be better and try new things and get out there and grow that business and grow ourselves. And, and I think we, we always talk. And as you say, there's a lot of, of things out there about surrounding ourselves with smarter people people who are smarter than we are about certain things. Right. And I think that's great. I think the other thing is to surround ourselves with people who tell us the truth. Yeah, that's a good point. Who will, yeah. who will, who will make those, 
difficult comments and ask those tough questions because even if we surround ourselves with people who are smarter than we are about certain things, if they don't have the chutzpah to challenge us, if they don't have right. the chutzpah to go, I'm not sure that you're on the right path idea. and you need to think right. about this, then then smart is only really half of the equation. The other half of the equation are the people who are prepared to push you by asking you the tough questions. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then says that's you know, it's okay. It's okay not to be right all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely okay not to be right all the time. Right. Right. And, and the greatest um, entrepreneurs in history will tell you that they have had some absolutely spectacular failures. Times right. when they were wrong, so wrong about something. I mean, look at look at Amazon. I didn't even know this, but that Amazon launched a phone at one point. Did you even know that they launched a phone? I you did. Know? I remember hearing. Yeah. And, it, and I remember going, what are they? You know, that's so out of their wheelhouse. It yeah. was abysmal. It was absolutely abysmal. But but it came from the same person who's come up with all of those other amazing ideas that have made him not millions but billions of dollars. So right. we all have spectacular failures, and we need to just go with them. Yeah. And you know, if you're not failing, then you're not moving forward and taking action. And you've got to just keep moving and have lots of failures. I mean, if you're not failing, you're not doing anything. So. Ronald um, says the Amazon phone tanked like a turkey. Wow. <laughs> Ronald, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. Ronald Facebook Better. Had one um, too, but you don't hear about that one anymore. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know about the Facebook phone either. It is interesting. All the I mean you look at all the failures that have been out there. Um yeah. Well Tony, somehow we made an hour go by like that again. Yeah. We did. Um, we had we started a little late, but but we, we did, did make an hour go by. And so just before we go, what are, what are your plans for the summer, Gina? And what do you do with the summer months? Do you take time to think, to recharge? <laughs> to... No. <laughs> okay. okay. No, I work. I work all summer. I but you know, look, I'm here for a few days in Napa. I work, but I I bring balance, and I love summer because I get to start my day outside. So I do try to do that. Um, no, and I, you know, I, I, throughout the year, I make time to try to just get that quiet time, headspace and plan and be innovative. What will you, cause I have some big things going on this summer with our youngest daughter getting married. We're coming out to see you in a few weeks, in a couple weeks. Couple um, weeks. Yes, as there's a, yeah, as there's a big birthday celebration happening. It's a big, it's, it's a scary one. It's a scary one, but I'm okay. I, I wake up with heart palpitations every now and then, and then I go. I was going to oh. say, it, it starts with an S, but it could be 16. Could be 16. You, you know, sweet, your sweet 16 birthday. It could be 16. But as always, we are going to take the summer off. And uh, this has been a value of mine ever since the kids were young. Uh, PG, meaning pre jare and uh, it started when I was a single mom with, with two very young kids, and they were off. So I wanted to make sure that I was off and spending time with them. And it has just continued for us. It is the time when we focus on friends and family and making memories. It, it doesn't hurt that in our line of work, it's not very busy during the summer. And you know, if something big comes in, we might take it, but we turn down a fair amount of work that comes in during the summer just because we really want to prioritize family and friends. And by doing that, we also give ourselves time and space for our creative uh, neurons to re-energize. That's what yeah. people pay us for. If ours are exhausted, uh, that's not good for anybody. That's a good point. Yes. Uh, so there's a lot of doc time. There's a lot of doc tales. Doc tales. Uh, there's a lot of doffy, which is coffee on the dock. Um, and <laughs> a lot of sitting, sitting on the dock of the bay, which you will on the dock of the bay. You have yes. done with us and we'll be I doing it that. very shortly. And yeah, it'll be, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope everyone has, you know, a very, whether it's productive or whether it's relaxing or hopefully a little of both. Um, hopefully everyone has a wonderful summer season as we take a little break from the show, but this has just been a joy to do. I've loved getting to know every single, every single one of you in here, um, in this community and getting to make new friends and what is the old Girl Scout song? Make new friends, but keep the old. 
One yeah. is silver and the other is gold. Yes, um, I think I got kicked out go. of gold. Just before we go, because Ronald made a comment, and I want to make sure that we get there. Um, getting ready to release my next book on DIY smart home automation in a few days. So congratulations, uh, Ronald. Congratulations, Ronald. Launch, and you can tell us all about it in the fall. So yeah, thank you. Exciting. We love you. We really do. We really do love being here and love that you're here with us and that everybody's so open to share things and that we all get to have a great time together and raise a glass. So happy summer, everybody. So raise a glass to all of you. We will see you very soon, which is so cool. And uh, yeah. everybody else, we will be in touch, and we will see you in September. Bye.